Uh, we've concluded uh, opening statements. Uh, we're now going to move to member questions. Each member will have five minutes to ask questions of our witnesses, and I would ask all my colleagues who I love dearly to adhere to the five-minute rule, <clears throat> lest you hear my gavel. I will start by recognizing myself for five minutes and try to set a good example. So, as we've heard from our witnesses today and as demonstrated by the strong demand in recent auctions for wireless licenses, mid-band spectrum is vitally important for wireless connectivity. Uh, our bill, this Spectrum Innovation Act, seeks to maximize the amount of spectrum available for consumer use in the 3.1 to 3.45 mid prime mid-band spectrum. Uh, Mr. Geis, as an advocate for innovative and competitive spectrum usage, can you discuss how you see the Spectrum Innovation Act producing uh, greater utilization of the band? Yeah, look, I think uh, it's a great question, and the act itself sort of sets out, like there are opportunities for licensing in this band, and there are opportunities for sharing. I think as we learned in the CVRS process, if we engage with DOD, we engage with NTIA and the FCC, we can structure a path forward that will result in more spectrum coming online for utilization than if we sort of lock ourselves into a camp on this spectrum. Thank you. 